Hey, my name is Daniel and today you will learn how to set up your digital mixer for multi-track recording and virtual sound check. Let's go! I will use a Midas M32 in this video, but the same concept applies with any kind of live mixer. The only difference would be how the routing menu looks with different brands. Type A to Type B USB cable Plug it into the back of the mixer Turn it on And plug it into your computer First thing we will do is go to the setup menu All the way to card And here we will choose the configuration of inputs and outputs I like to keep them all active so I will keep 32 and 32 out Now we will go to the routing menu And as you can see the channels are in blocks of 8 And there's also a record mode and a play mode. This menu might be a little bit confusing, but here's how it works. On the input page, local means the XLR inputs on the back of the console. So we're gonna tell the mixer that channels 1 to 8 get local 1 to 8, 9 to 16 get local 9 to 16. If you're not plugged into the back of the console or you're using a stage box or digital snake, it will be AES50 1 to 8. AS15 9-16, etc. Now we're done with the recording part, but before we go to the computer, we're gonna configure the playback inputs. Go to play mode, and we're gonna tell the mixer that channels 1 to 8 are getting their inputs from card 1 to 8. Channels 9 to 16 from card 9 to 16. Before we start recording, make sure that the project file and the console are running at the same sample rate. This is very important, or else the recording will be basically unusable. So you're gonna go to setup, and check the sample rate. If it's 48 kilohertz, create your project in 48 kilohertz. If it's 44.1, create your project in 44.1. If you're using a Windows machine, you're most likely gonna have to install a driver called ASIO for all v2. So this is track slide. Before opening a new session, go to system settings, make sure that the ASIO driver is selected, open device control panel, select the, the N32, which is the sound card of the mixer and turn off the computer audio click ok now open a new session i'm going to call the session multi and save it automatically opens 32 tracks which is the number of channels on the mixer and the cool thing about this is that you don't have to assign inputs and outputs for each track if i want track 6 to have input 1 I simply drag it to position 1. Same thing if I want track 2 to have input 5, I drag it to position 5. Now you can click on the global record and hit record. Now go back to routing and put it in play mode. Now the tracks are going back into the mixer. And now you can do your virtual sound check. If this was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you have any questions, ask me in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.